Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thanato, Thanato, Pisas, Ketis, and Pismimasi, Zoin, Hadis, Amenos. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, you who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Again, we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Sava. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth sh will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many <clears throat> are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of tens of thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, 
Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. For you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your head rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly. And they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear. And I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, <clears throat> let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are becoming stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory, because your mercy is better than life, and my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with morrow and fatness. And my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. <clears throat> if I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth, they shall be given over to the edge of the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer before you incline your ear to my supplication. O Lord, for my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead. Like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed, all, you removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination, and amongst themselves. I was betrayed, and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. 
I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry a night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all those who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon those who fear him. For he knows he formed us. He remembers when, when we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. <clears throat> for the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him. <clears throat> and, it, <clears throat> and his righteousness upon children's children to, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you as angels, mighty in strength, who do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will, Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication. In your truth, answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in dark places as, as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you make me know, <clears throat> O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you, deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee to refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life in your righteousness. You shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to your God. <clears throat> alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to your God. O oh God, our hope, O oh Lord, glory to you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For <clears throat> our country, for the president, for all in public service, and for the armed forces everywhere. Let us pray <clears throat> to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the city, for every city and land, and for the faithful live in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives. And for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Commemorating our all holy, pure, most, most blessed Lord, and glorious Lord, Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to christ Amen. our god to you, o lord for to you belong O glory honor and worship to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and forever into the ages of ages Amen. god it's the lord and has revealed himself to us blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord <laughs> Κυρίως και επεφανέν ημίν ευλογημένος ο ερχομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. The nations have surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I have defended myself against them. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Para Κυρίου έγινε το αυτή και στη θαυμαστή εν οφθαλμής ημών Θεός Κυρίος και επεφάνεν ημίν ευλογημένος ο αρχούμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου Let us worship the word who is unoriginate with the Father and Spirit and from a virgin was born for our salvation O believers and let us sing his praise for in his goodness he was pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh and to undergo death and to raise up those who had died by his glorious resurrection. Doxa Patri ke yoke agio pneumati, ton sinan argon logon Patri ke pneumati, ton ek parthenu tekthenda isotiri animon, animnisomen pisti ke proskinisomen, oti doki se sergi, anelthine do stavro ke thana ton ipomine, ke gire tu stethne otas enti and thoks o anastasi aftu on ever into the ages of ages amen o impassable gateway of god the lord rejoice wall and shelter of those who and you take refuge rejoice stormless haven rejoice o maid who knew not man and god physically gave her to your creator and god Never cease interceding on behalf of those extolling and worshiping the son you bore Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Glory of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory of mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor the cross of the Lord with solemn praise, and his holy entombment, extol with sacred hymns, and his rising from the dead, supremely glorified. For he despoiled the realm of death, and the devil's might, for he is God. Then he resurrected the dead from the graves together, and made the light to σε πατρίκε ο και αγίο πνεύματι, κύριε νεκρό προσιγορέ, ευθύσο νεκρό σε στον θάνατο. Ενήματι ετέθησο και νόσα στα μνήματα. Άνω στρατιώτε των τάφων εφύλατων. Κάτω του απεώνου νεκρού εξανέστη σα. Πάντο δύναμε και ακατάληπτε, κύριε δόξα σύ. Trod rejoice, living bush that was burning and yet not consumed, rejoice, oh rejoice, the only bridge that joins the world to God and conducts the mortal human race to everlasting life. Oh rejoice, immaculate maiden, who without knowing a husband truly gave birth to him who saves our souls. Kyrie en meso se prosilosan i paranomi ton gatadikon, ke logi di plevra su exekendisan o eleimon, τα φύνδε κατ' εδέξω λύσας άδουτας πύλας και ανέστης τριήμερος έδραμον γυναίκες ειδίνσε και απήγγυλαν αποστόλη στην έγερσιν υπερυψούμενε σωτήρ ον ύμνους οι άγγελοι ευλογημένε Κύριε δόξα Σύ. Befitting your divinity, as God you resurrected, corrupted humanity. O Lord, the life of all glory to you. Can in ge a in ge is to se onas don e ono na min a piroga men in fi the o genitria iti se vas tin li pin karobi sa sa anim numen i pisti ge proski numen se o ti aniga ge si masek ti sarhe a saras can in di sopi a pa aftos panim ni de panagi. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the hosts of the angels saw how you were counted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself. And from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Tita mira sin bathos tis da krisi no mathitri e kirnate. O astrapton en tota fo angelos prosefthen ge totes miroforis. Idete imis ton da fon ge istite. O sotir gar exanesti tu mnimatos. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the mere bearing woman were hastening to your tomb lament. But the angel appeared to them and uttered the time for lamentation has ended with no more. Go and ask the resurrection to the apostles. Λόγι το συγκύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου Μυροφόροι γυναίκες με τα μύρον αδούσε προς το μνήμα σου σώτερ Εν ηχούν του αγγέλου τρανός προς αυτάς δεγκομένου Τι με τα νεκρόν το ζώντα λογίζεστε Ως Θεός γαρεξανε στη του μνήματος Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit We bow down and worship to the Father And his Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Can in ge a in ge is to se onas don e onon amin zo do tin te kusa elitros o parthene ton adam amartias harmonin de ti evan dilipis pareskes refsanda zo isi thine prostaftin de o exus argotis teos ke anthropos. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Glory of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory of mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, holy and glorious Theotokos Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. 
Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your all-holy name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Αγγελικέ οράσε τον νουν εκ θαμβούμενη και θεϊκή εγέρση την ψυχή φωτιζόμενη. Οι μυροφόροι τη Αποστόλη Ευαγγελίζοντο αναγγείλονται εν τη έθνεση την ανάσταση του κυρίου συνεργούντο στη Σταύμαση και παρέχοντα ημίν το Μέγα Έλεον. Blessed is the life of those who dwell in the desert, winged by day as the divine arrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. But now and ever, and in the ages of ages, Amen. By the Holy Spirit are all things maintained, both seen and unseen. For being autocratic, He is one of the Trinity truly. O my soul, let us rise in the mountains. Come, let us go there. Help comes. Let your soaring right hand protect me, O Christ, from treachery on every side. So, Patrick, I hear you, I hear you, pneumati. I hear you, pneumati, theologundes, fomens, e theozoieros, fos nusi, Christotis, si vasilevsis, is to say on us. Because they said to me, Let us go to the courts of the Lord. I am filled with great joy, and I send. Of my petitions. The house of David are the first some things to be fully accomplished, for there will be fire burning every shameful thought. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. But now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father, and the Logos is the principle of life. From him is every living being endowed with a soul. <laughs> Arise, O Lord, my God, for your reign unto the ages. Σου μολογήσως ο Κύριε όλη η καρδία μου, αναστήθηνε Κύριε ο Θεός μου, ότι σι βασιλεύεις εις τους αιώνας. In the eyes of the soul have I become unseeing. Unto you I come, O Christ, as did of old the man born blind, And in repentance I cry to you, for those in darkness, you are the most resplendent light. You are the most resplendent light. The stream of your wisdom, ineffable, and knowledge on high grant to me, O Christ, the light of those in darkness and the guide of those who wander, so that I may relate that which the Holy Bible taught, even the gospel of peace, which tells of the blind man's miracle, that a man being blind from birth enjoys the use of his sensual eyes as well as those of his soul. And in faith he cries to you, for those in darkness, you are the most resplendent light. Those in darkness, you are the most resplendent light. On June 6th, we commemorate our devout father, Hilarion the New, abbot of the Dalamation Monastery. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Atalus the Wonderworker. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Five Virgins and their comrades. On this day, the sixth Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate the miracle that our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ performed on a man born blind. Light from light and giver of light, you give eyes to the man born blind, O Logos. In your infinite mercy, O Christ our God and giver of light, Have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Την έκτη του αυτού μηνό μνήμη του Οσίου Πατρό Σιμών Ιλαρίωνο του νέου ηγουμένου τη Μονή των Δαλμάτων. Τη αυτή ημέρα μνήμη του Οσίου Πατρό Σιμών Ατάλου του Θαυματουργού. Τη αυτή ημέρα μνήμη των Αγίων Πέντε Παρθένων και τη Συνοδεία αυτών. Τη αυτή ημέρα Κυριακή έκτη από το Πάσχα των Εκτενογεννητή Τυφλών Εορταζόμενων του κυρίου και Θεού και στο τύρο Σιμών Ισού Χριστού Θαύμα. Φωτ χορηγό εκ φάο πλέον φάο. Τον εκενετή σωμά τη Τυφλών Λόγε. Τι απίου ελέησο φωτοδότα Χριστέο Θεό Σιμών ελέησον και σώσον ημά. Αμήν. Ανέας to our Savior and God who led the people of old across the Red Sea with 
on wetted feet, and who submerged there under Pharaoh and his forces all. To him only let us sing, for he is glorified. Dynami to Stavrus, O Christes, Tereus on Mutin Diania, is to him nin gedoxas in su. Tin so tidi on analipsi. Isaki ko akirie tin agoin. Τη δυναστεία του Σταυρού σου, ω παράδεισο συνήγηδη αυτού και βόησα, δόξα τη δύναμη σου, κύριε. Arising very early, we cry out to you, O Lord, save us. For you are our God, we know no other except for you. Εκύκλωσε με άβυσος να φύμι το κοίτος εγένετο, εγώ δε βόησα προς έτων φιλάνθρωπον, και σώσε με η δεξιά σου, Κύριε. Preserve the young man extolling in the fiery furnace. You are the God of our fathers, and blessed are you. Numen e blogumen ge proskinumen don Gideon don ek patros pro eonon genithen da ion ke theon ke peshadon don chronon sarkothen da ek parthenu mitros i eris animnite laos i peripsute i spandas tu se ona. Τι άγιο σου ο Θεό Σιμών και να είσαι παναπάδη και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπουμε. Το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύματι. Μην και αή και ει τη αιώνα στον αιώνο. Αμήν. Let everything that brings praise the Lord. Α απνοή ενεσάτω τον κύριο. Ενεσάτω πνοή πάσαν τον κύριο. Δε του έπει φαντούρδιο το ιδόλι γάσπο. Let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. With the Amorites, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabbanai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Ανάσταση Χριστού Θεάς Άμυνη προσκυνήσουμε ένα Άγιον Κύριον Ιησούν των μόνων αναμάρτητων τον Σταυρό σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε και την Αγία σου Ανάσταση μνούμε και δοξάζουμε. Σίγαρη Θεός ημών εκτό ο άλλο και είδαμεν, το όνομά σου ονομάζουμε. Δεύτε πάντε σε πιστή προσκυνήσουμε την του Χριστού Αγία Ανάσταση. Δούγαρη ορθεδία του Σταυρού χαρά ενώ το κόσμο. Διαπαντό, ευλογούντα τον κύριο Ιμνούμεν την Ανάσταση αυτού, Σταυρόν γαρυπομίνα δίμα, θανάτο θάνατον όλασεν. Yeah, 
have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy yes, and according to the abundance of your compassion, but I'm a transgression. Επιπλέον πλήνων με από τι ανομίε μου και από τι αμαρτίε μου καθαρισών με. Σύμων ο ήμαρτων και το πονηρόν ενώπιον σου επίσα, όπω αν δικαιωθεί εν τη λόγη σου και νικήσει εν το κρίνεστε. Δούγαρα λυθία ανοιγάπη σα, τα άδειλα και τα κρύφια τη σοφία σου εδήλωσα μη. Ακουτίζει so μια γαλλία συγκεφροσύνη να γαλλιάσονται ω θέα τε ταπεινωμένα. Για καθαρά αν κτίσον εν εμεί ο Θεό και πνεύμα ευθέ εν γέννησον εν τη εγκάτισμη. Πόδο με την αγαλία συν του σωτηριού σου και πνεύμα τη γεμονικό στήριξον με. Ρίσε με ξεμάτων ο Θεός, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου, αγαλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. Ότι θέλει σας θυσίαν εδώ καν, ολοκαυτώματα ούκ ευδοκίσεις. Αγάθινον Κύριε τη ευδοκία σου την Σιών και οικοδομηθεί το τα τείχη Ιερουσαλήμ. Τότε αν ήσου συνεπί το θυσιαστήριον σου μόσχους και λέησον με ο Θεός. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Ken in gain, ke is tu seonas to neonon amin, testis theotoku presvies eleimon, exalipson da plithi to neemon eglimaton. Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave, as He foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Uplift the strength of our Orthodox Christians. Send down upon us your abundant mercies. The intercession of our most pure Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. To the power of the precious and life given the cross. To the powers of honorable bodies, heavenly powers. Of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist. The holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles. Our Father among the saints and great ecumenical teachers and high rocks, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John the Statsum, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarch of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimethos, and Nectarius of Pontifex, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, the Great Martyr, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Morbellet, Theodore of Tyre, and Theodore the Commander. Minas, the wonder workers, Eleftherios, Columbus, the holy priest, martyrs of the holy, glorious, great martyr, Tecla Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyriaki, Fotini, Mariana, Pereskevi, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs of our venerable God, the ascetic fathers, of the holy and gracious ancestor of God, Joachim, and Anna, and Elerian of the Lamatos Monastery, Atalas, the wonder workers, who memories will keep today and all your saints. We beseech you, the only most 
Merciful Lord, listen to us, sinner, we pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Yara burcham, yara burcham, yara burcham. Lord, you have mercy, Lord, you have mercy. Lord, you have mercy. Elei, ke ekterinis ke filantropi, etu mone ginisu mete uvloitosi. Sinde panagio ke agathokis opiosu pnevmati, nin ke ai, ke iste se onas to ne onor. Honor her with him, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. O oh, my soul, magnify him who willingly suffered, was buried and arose from the grave on the third day. He illumined, illumined, O oh, new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has arisen over you. Stand up for joy, O Zion, and exult, and you be merry. Hope your Theotokos at the arising of the one you bore. Megali no psychin mu don exanastanda, trimeron ekta fu Christon don zodotin, fotizu, fotizu, inea Jerusalem, i gardoxa kiriu epise anetile. Ora venin ke agalusion, si de agni ter puthe otoge, en ti eger si tu tokusun. Christ is a new path, God, the sacrificial victim, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, divine and beloved, and sweetest utterance of good, for you really and truly Pleasure that you will be with us unto the end of the age, O Christ. And we, the faithful, clinging to your promise, our anchor of hope, rejoice. Σήμερον πασακτήσεις αγάλετε και χέρι, ότι Χριστός ανέστη και άδησες κυλεύθη. Ο Πάσχα το Μέγα και η ερώτα των Χριστέ, Ω σοφία και λόγε του Θεού και δύναμη, διδού η μην εκτυπότερον. Σου μετασχύν εν τη ανεσπέρο ημέρα τη βασιλεία σου. Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, O my soul, magnify the power of the Godhead. That is the high postesis and also undivided with one voice of virtue. The believers call you blessed. Oh, rejoice you, the Lord's gate, city, and it may rejoice. Lady, rejoice for today, the light of the resurrection from the dead of the Son, whom you have borne and shown on us. In Ingea, Ingeis, to Sona, Stoneona, mean, Here, Parthene, here, here, Vlogimeni, Here, the Docs as many, Sogario, Sanesti, Trimeros, Ectafu. Εφραένου αγάλου η θεία πύλη του φωτός ο γαρδίνας εν τάφο Ιησούς ανέτηλε λάμψας ηλίου φεδρότερον και τους πίστους πάντας καταυγάσας Θεοχαρίτατε δεσποινά I, the mother of God, you gave birth to the timeless one in time in express.
Έτυχε την ειρήνη του κρύου Δεϊτόμε. Κύριε Λέισον, εν τριβουσό των Ελέισον και τη φύλαξον ημά ο Θεό τη Ιχάρητη. Κύριε Λέισον, ω παραγγεία ω χράτου πλαγιμένη τη δόξη τη Ελισιμό. Θεοτόκο και απερτένου Μαρία. Με τα πάντων αγίων με νοσάντε. Εαυτού και αλλήλω και πάσα τη ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μετά. Συ κυρία. Ότι σε νουσί πάση δυνάμει των ουρανών και εσύ την δόξα να πέμπουσι. Το πατρί και το ιό και το ιό πνεύματι. Νην και αή και ει τη αιώνα των αιωνών. Αμήν. Αγίο κύριο ο Θεό ημών. Υψούτε κυρίων των Θεών ημών και προσκυνείτε το υποποδίο των ποδών αυτού. Ότι Άγιο Εσέστη, Σαρκή Υπνόσα ο Σνητό, Ο Βασιλεύ και Κύριο. Τριήμερος εξανέστης Άδαμε γύρας εκθωράς Και καταργήσας θάνατον Πάσχα της αυθαρσίας Του κόσμου σωτήριον The eyes of my noetic soul Have become blind, O loving Lord Because of dark and sinful deeds, O Savior, lead me to the light. Implant in me humility, O Master, and purify me with tears of repentance. Παράγωνο σωτήρι μόν ευρέτη φλόνα ώματον πτήσας χαμέ και πίσας πύλον επέχρισε τούτον προς ηλόμα πέστηλε του απελθήν και νύψαστε ο δε νύψαμενος ήρθε βλέπον το φως σου Χριστέ μου. Ανέωνες πάσα νοήνες αυτό το κυρίον ενίτε το κυρίον Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Lord, although the tomb had been sealed by the transgressors of the law, you came forth from the sepulchre. Just as you were born from the theotokos, 
your bodiless angels did not know how you became incarnate. Nor did the soldiers who guarded you receive when you resurrected. For both have been sealed to those who would inquire. But the miracles have been revealed to those who faithfully worship the mystery. As we extol it, we rest restore us to exalt in joy and your great mercy. Nid avdon en ikos alpingos, nid avdon en psaldiri o ke kithara, kyrie tus mochlus tus eonius in dripsas, ke desmadi arixas tu mnimatos anestis, Καταλυπών σου τα ενταφία εις μαρτύριον της αλήθους τριμέρου τα φύσου και προήγες εν τη Γαλιλαία ο εν σπηλαίο τηρούμενος Μέγα σου το έλεος ακατάληπτες ο τυρελέησον ημάς. Praise him with tremonads, praise him with strings and flute. Mm. Lord, O oh Lord, the woman ran to the sepulchre mm. to see you, the Christ who had suffered for us. When they came, they found an angel sitting on the stone that from fear had rolled away. The angel called out to the message, The Lord has risen. Tell the disciples that resurrected from the dead, is he who saves our souls. Nite afton ekim valis evihis, nite afton ekim valis alalagmu, pas apnoi enesato ton kirion. Κύριε, ως πορεξίδες εσφραγισμένου του τάφου, ούτως εισήθες και των θυρών και κλεισμένων προς τους μαθητά σου, δείκνυον αυτής τα του σώματος πάθη, άπερ κατά δέξω σωτήρ, μακροθυμίσας ως εξπέρματος Δαβίδ, μόλο πας υπενέγκας, ως Υιός δε του Θεού κόσμον ηλευθερώσας, Μέγα σου το έλεος, ακατάληπτε σωτήρε λέησον ημάς. Ανέ, ανέ, as the God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee from before his face. Today a sacred Pascha has been revealed to us, a Pascha new and holy, a Pascha mystical, a Pascha old, venerable, Pascha the Redeemer Christ himself, a Pascha that is blameless, a Pascha that is great, a Pascha of believers, a Pascha that has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha that sanctifies Believers all. Slick clip, pick up no sec clipetto, son of stick, and the giros up a proso, pupiros, theft the apple. 
Δεύτε από θέας γυναίκες ευαγγελίστριε και της Ιών είπατε δέχου παρήμων χαράς ευαγγελία της Αναστάσεως Χριστού τέρ που χόρευε και αγάλου Ιερουσαλήμ τον βασιλέα Χριστόν θέας αμένει εκ του μνήματος ως νυμφίων προερχόμενων. Ω, το απολούνται οι αμαρτωλοί από προσώπου του Θεού και οι δίκαιοι εφαρθήσοντας. Ε, μυροφόροι γυναίκες όρθρου βαθέως, επιστάτε προς το μνήμα του ζωοδότου, εύρων άγγελων επί των λήθων καθήμενων και αυτός προς δεξάμενος αυτές ούτως έλεγε τι ζητείτε των ζώντα μετά των νεκρών τι θρηνείτε των άφθαρτων ως ενθώρα απελθούσε κηρύξατε τις αυτού μαθητές. This is the day the Lord has made let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein Pascha of delight, Pascha of the Lord's Pascha, a Pascha of venerable has risen for us, Pascha with joy let us embrace one another, Pascha the ransom from sorrow, today from the sepulchre, Christ emerged resplendently as from a bridal chamber, And the woman he filled with joy, saying, Proclaim to this to the apostles. Now ye yeah, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Who can speak? Of your mighty works, O Christ, or enumerate your many miracles. You appeared on earth into natures in your goodness. Yeah, Likewise, granted to fold cures to the sick. For example, you opened not only the bodily eyes of the man born blind, but also the eyes of his soul. And for this he confessed you to be God, though concealed, who grants to all the great mercy. Τι 
να στάσει και ούτω βοήσομεν Χριστός ανέστη εκ νεκρών θανάτων θανάτων πατήσας και της εν της μνήμασι ζωήν χαρισάμενος Ξανή το πώ το ξανή ψήστη στα ο καπηγή Σιρήνη ανατροπή σε ευδοκία. Μυμνούμε σε ευλογούμε σε προσκυνούμε σε δοξολογούμε σε ευχαριστούμε σε ιδία την μεγάλη σου δόξα. Κύριε Βασίλα, βεμπουρώνει αδέποτε παντοκράτο. Κύριε Αγία μόνο γένε. Ιησού Χριστέ και Άγιο Πνεύμα Κύριε ο Θεός, ο Ιαμνός του Δεού ο Υιός του Πάντρος ο Έρων την αμαρτία του κόσμου ελέησον ημάς ο Έρων τας αμαρτίας του κόσμου Πρόσθεξε την δέησιν ημών ο καθήμενος εν εξιό του Πότρος ότι εσύ μόνο Αγίο, εσύ μόνο Κύριο, ίσω Χριστό, ει δόξαν Θεού πατρό αμήν. Κατεκά στην ημέρα ευλογήσω σε κανένα έσω το όνομα σου ει τον αιώνα και ει τον αιώνα του αιώνα. Καταξίωσον κύριε τη ημέρα ταύτη. Αναμαρτή του φυλαχθήνε η μα. Ελόγη το συγκύρια ο Θεό των πατέρων ήμων. Και νετών και δε δοξισμένο το όνομά σου ει του αιώνα σαν μη. Γέννη το κύριε το ελαιό σου έφημα. Καθά περιποιήσαμε νεπισε. Ελόγη το συγκύρια διδαξό με τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλόγη το συγκύρια διδαξό με τα δικαιώματά σου. Ευλόγη το συγκύρια διδαξό με τα δικαιώματά σου. Κύριε καταφυγεί γεννή θυσίμην εν γενεά και γενεά. Εγώ είπα κύριε λέισον με ίασε την ψυχή μου ότι μαρτώνσι Κύριε προς εκατε πήγω εν διδαξώ εν με του πήγη το τέλημά σου ότι εσύ ο Θεός μου ότι παρασύ πήγη ζωής εν το φωτίσου ψώμε θα φως παραδίνω το ελαιό σου της γινός χουσίσα Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχύρος, Άγιος ο Θάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχύρος, Άγιος ο Θάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος Ισχύρος, Άγιος ο Θάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνευματί. Αγίο Αθάνατο, ελέισον ημά. Αγίο ο Θεό, Αγίο Ισχυρό, Αγίο Αθάνατο. Σήμερον σωτηρία το κόσμο γέγονεν Άσομεν το αναστάντη εκ τάφου και αρχηγό τη ζωή ημών Καθελών γαρτοθανάτου των θάνατων 
τον οικοσέδο και νύμιν και το μέγα ελαιό. And salvation come to pass in the world. Let us sing to him who resurrected from the tomb and is the author of our life. For destroying death by death, he gave us the victory and the great mercy. Ευλογημένοι οι δεσποτά. Ευλογημένοι η βασίλεια του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο. Νην και αή και ει τη αιώνα των αιωνών. Αμήν. Ευλαβίας και φόβο Θεού, εσύ όν τον εαυτό, το Κύριο Δεϊτόμεν. Κύριε Αλαϊσό, Κορπάει σαν ο δόκτρες σας, δε θα σπρέει το ταλό. Λόρν, have mercy. Φορά βαράς μου σε παν Φάδερ Σάββας, δε αν ο πρέσπερες, φορτι διάκρινε την Κράις, And all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and for every city and land, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heaven, what the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, Let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And protect us, O God, by Your grace. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, 
our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Shout to God all the earth through the intercessions of the Theodore, Savior, save us. Ψάλατε δε τη ονόματι αυτού, δότε δόξαν εν ενέσι αυτού, τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου, σώτερ, σώσον ημάς. Say to God, I'll fear for your works, through the intercessions of the Theodore, Savior, save us. Πάσα η γη προσκυνήσα το σαν σι και ψαλά το σαν σι τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκου σώτερ σώσον ημάς. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, mm -hmm. Savior, save us. Έτσι και την ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊτόμε Κύριε Λέησον Εν τελευουσώσον ελέησον και τη φύλαξον ημάς Ο Θεός της συγχώρητης Κύριε Λέησον Και σπαραγγείας αχράν του πλεγγημένης Εν δόξος πενεσιμών Θεοτόκον και απερτένου Μαρίας Με τα πάντων αγίων με νόψαντες και αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν τη ζωή νημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μετά. Συ Κύριε, For your, ότι σών το κράτος και σου έστεινε η βασίλεια και η δυνήμης και η δόγωξα, και πατρός και του Ιού και του Αιού Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις της αιώνας των αιωνών. Αμήν. Ο Θεός ικτηρίσε ημάς και ευλογήσε ημάς, σώσον ημάς η Εθεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. May he cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us, save us the Son of God, risen from the dead, we chant to you, Alleluia. Του γνώνεν τη γη την οδόν σου, εν πάση έθνεση το σωτήριόν σου, σώσον ημάς η έθεου, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God, let all the peoples praise you, save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We chant to you, Alleluia. Doxa Patrike Io ke ai opnevmati. Enike ai ke is to se onas to ne ononami. O monogenisios ke logos tu theu athanatos iparhon ke katadexamenos dia tini meteran sotirian sarkothine. Εκ της Αγίας Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρίας ατρέπτος εν ανθρωπίσας σταυρωθήστε Χριστέ ο Θεός θανάτο θανάτον πατήσας ίσον της Αγίας Τριάδος συνδοξαζόμενος το Πατρί και το Άγιο Πνεύματι σώσον ημάς. Again, again, in peace of us, pray to the Lord. Glory and mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory and mercy. Remember our most holy, pure blessed, and glorious day to your talk, and ever was a merry with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life, to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you, O God, are good in love of mankind, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Let God arise and, and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who flee, hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead. Thy death trembling down on Σε κλείπη καπνό, σε κλείπε το σαν. Ω τι και τα κύρο από προσώπου πυρό. Χριστό ανέστη. from the face of God and let the righteous be glad Christ is risen from the dead by death trampling down upon death and to Αυτήν ημέρα είναι πίσω ο Κύριος, αγαλιασόμεθα και φρανθόμεν εν αυτή, Χριστός ανέστη εκ νεκρών, θανάτο, θανάτον πα. Τι σα και τι σε τη μνήμα σου ζωή χαρισαμένο. Σοφία ο Εν εκκλησίες ευλογείτε τον Θεόν, Κύριον εκ πηγών Ισραήλ, σώσον ημάς η Εθεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρός. Σαλοντάς η Αλληλούια των συνανάρχων λόγων πατρί και πνεύματι τον εκ παρθένου τεχθέντα η σωτηρία νημών ανυμνήσομεν πιστή και προσκυνήσομεν ότι δόκι σε σαρκή ανελθύνε το σταυρό και θάνατον υπομείνε και γύρε του τεθνεώτας εν τη εν δόξο αναστάση αυτού. Ευλογητό εσύ Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών ο πανσόφους του σαλής αναδείξας και τα πέμψας αυτής ο πνεύμα Άγιον και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένη τσάγιν έψας φιλάτρο Blessed are you, O Christ, 
Christ our God, you proved the fisherman to be all wise when you said from the whole spirit and through the you drew the universe into your net, O lover of mankind, and glory to you. Though you went down into the tomb, O immortal one, Yet you brought down the dominion of Hades, and you rose as the victor, O Christ our God, and you called out rejoice to the myrrh-bearing women, and gave peace to your apostles. O Lord, o Lord who to the fall and resurrection, Tu kyrio deitome Kyrio leison Ti ai iusi o Theo Simon ke si ti doxan o na pembo men Tu patri ke tu iyo ke tu iyo pnev matinin ke ai Ke iso se onas ton eono Αγίος ισχύρος, Αγίος αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Άγιο Πνεύματι Άγιος Αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς Φυλάξας ημάς και διατηρήσες ημάς, σώσον με Κύριο ότι εκλέλειπε όσιος. Σοφία, πράξεων των Αποστόλων το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσθομε. Δε σημέρες εκείνες εγένε το πορευωμένον ημών, των Αποστόλων εις προσευχήν, παιδίς την άχουσα πνεύμα πίθωνος απαντήσε ημίν, ή της εργασίαν πολλήν παρήχε της κυρίης αυτής μαντευωμένη. Αυτή κατακολουθούσα το Παύλο και η μην έκραζα λέγος. Ούτω οι άνθρωποι δούλοι του Θεού, 
του υψίστου ησίν ήτινες καταγγέλουσιν ημών οδόν σωτηρίας. Τούτο δε επί πολλές ημέρες διαπονηθείς δε ο Παύλος και επιστρέψα στο πνεύμα τι είπε παραγγέλωση εν το ονόματι Ιησού Χριστού εξελθήν από αυτής και εξήλθεν αυτή την ώρα. Ιδώντες δε οι Κύριοι αυτοίς ότι εξήλθεν η ελπίση της εργασίας αυτών επιλαβόμενε τον Παύλον και τον Σύλλαν ήλξαν στην αγορά επί τους άρχοντας και προσαγάγοντας αυτούς τις στρατηγές είπαν «Ούτε οι άνθρωποι εκταράσουν ημών την πόλη, οι ουδέοι υπάρχοντες και καταγγέλωση έθι, αουκ εξές την ειν παραδέχεστε ουδέ ποιήν». Ρωμαίοι σούσι και συνεπλήστεν ολόχος κατά αυτόν και οι στρατηγοί περιήξαντες αυτούν τα ημάτια εκέλευον βραβδίζειν. Πολλές δε τίθεντες αυτές πληγάς έβαλον εις φυλακήν παραγγέλλοντας τους δεσμοφύλακοι αυτής τη ρήνα αυτούς ως παραγγελίαν τούτης ηλιχώς έβαλεν αυτούς στην εσωτέραν φυλακήν και τους πόδας αυτών εισφαλίσα το εστο ξύλον. Κατά δε το μετσονίκτιον Παύλος και Σύλλας προσευχούμενοι ύμνων εις των Θεών επικροτώνω δε αυτή τα δεσμά. Άφνο δε σεισμός έγινε το μέγας ώστε σταλευτείνε τα θεμέλια του δεσμοτηρίου. Ανέοχθησαν τα παράχρημα η θύρε πάση και πάντων το δεσμά ανέθη. Έξυπνο δε γενόμενο ο δεσμοφύλαξ και ειδών ανεγμένο στα στήρα τη φυλακή, σπασάμενο μαχαίραν έμελεν αυτόν ανερήν, νομίζω να εκπέφυγε του δεσμίου. Εφώνησε δε φωνή μεγάλη ο Παύλο λέγον, Μηδέν πράξει σε αυτόν κακόν, άπαντε γάρε έσμεν ενθάδε. Ετί σα δε φώτα, εισδέπησα και έντρομο γενόμενο, προσέπεσε το Παύλο και το Σίλα και προαγαγών αυτού έξω έφη, Κύριοι, τι μεταδίπη είναι μαν σωθεί. Ήδε είπων, πίστευσον εις τον Κύριον Ιησούν Χριστόν και σωθείς εσύ και ο οίκο σου. Και ελάλησαν αυτό τον λόγο του Κυρίου και πάση της εν τη οικία αυτού και παραλαβών αυτούς εν ώρα, την, ώρα της νυχτός έλουσεν από τον πληγόν και ευαπτίστη αυτός και αυτού πάντες παρά χρήμα. Αναγαγώνται αυτούς εις τον ήχον αυτού, παρέθεκεν τράπεζαν και γαλλιάσα το πανίκι πιστευτικό στο Θεό. Λετάσατε. You, O Lord, shall keep us and preserve us. Save me, O Lord, for the godly man has failed. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, as we apostles were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by soothsaying. She followed Paul and us, crying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to you the way of salvation. And this she did for many days. But Paul was annoyed and turned and said to the spirit, I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her and it came out of that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of gain was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the rulers. And when they had brought them to the magistrates, they said, these men are Jews and they are disturbing our city. They advocate customs which it is not lawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in attacking them and the magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and every one's fetters were unfastened. When the jailer awoke and saw that the prison doors were open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul cried with a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. And he called for the lights and rushed in. And trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all that were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds, and he was baptized at once with all of his family. 
Then he brought them up into his house and set food before them. And he rejoiced with all his household that he had believed in God. Irini si tonaginos kondi peace be to you, the reader. Σου κύριε στον αιώνα σωμέν, αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Ο Γιος έμερσι σωμή πέρα φορέ. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Be to you, o Lord, glory to you. At that time, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be made manifest in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night comes when no one, is, no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As he said this, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the man's eyes with the clay, saying to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloan, which means sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar said, is not this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is he. Others said, No, but he is like him. He said, I am the man. They said to him, Then how were your eyes opened? He answered, This the man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and sent to me, said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. So I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. The Pharisees again asked him how he had received his sight. And he said to them, He put clay on my eyes, and I washed and I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man who is a sinner who do such signs? There was a division among them. So they again said to the blind man, What do you say about him, since he has opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they called the parents of the man who had received his sight and asked him, Is this your son who you say was blind? How then does he now see? His parents answered, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. But how he now sees we do not know, nor do we know who has opened his eyes. Ask him, he is of age, he will speak for himself. His parents said this because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess him to be the Christ, he was to be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, He is of age, ask him. 
So for the second time they called the man who had been blind and said to him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered, Whether he is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see. They said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have told you already and you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you too want to become his disciples? And they reviled him, saying, You are his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God has spoken to Moses. But as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. The man answered, Why, this is a marvel. You do not know where he comes from. Yet he opened my eyes. We do not. We know that God does not listen to sinners. But if anyone is a worshiper of God and does his will, God listens to him. Never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born in utter sin, and you would teach us. And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and having found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, And who is he, sir, that I may believe him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and it is he who speaks to you. He said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. al Messiah come. There we go. Christos Anviat. I, I, I got to get it all in because we're done with this on Wednesday. We're, no, no, we're, not allowed to, we're not allowed to greet each other with the Christ is risen anymore. Um, for me to explain this gospel that you just heard completely, uh, uh, it's going to take a long, long, long time, which we don't have. Um, rather, I'm going to just pick out a couple of things so that you can have something in your mind. Because where we are now and where we sit in this land and where and how we sit in our churches, I think, is not quite understood sometimes. Uh, let me qualify this. In this, the, in this gospel, we hear the word sinned or sinner or sin a lot. A lot. And, and this, is, this is important in the gospel of John because the Jews accused Jesus in many cases of being a sinner, which we also know is utter nonsense. But they accused him of being a sinner... Why did they accuse him of being a sinner? They accused him of being a sinner 
because he broke the law. In their interpretation of the law, he broke the law, and therefore he is a sinner. And this is something that we can't, this is this mentality of breaking a rule, because the Orthodox Church has a lot of them, let's be honest. The Orthodox Church has a lot of rules. This idea of breaking the rules and therefore somehow you are bad person, horrible. This mentality has to go bye byes. It has to leave our brains. The breaking of a rule does not make us a bad person. We are already bad people. <laughs> it's just true. <laughs> Whether we break a rule or not, none of us are Jesus Christ. We are already sinners, regardless of we, whether we break a rule or not. Every single one of us, from the top of the whoever, Patriarch Bartholomew, all, all the way down to the youngest of the young, we are all ready sinners. And I think this escapes us when we think about the idea of, oh, oh my goodness, they're a murderer. They're a thief. They're a this. They're a that. They're a th they're Yes, of course. There are people who have broken very clear and blatant rules that we understand, whether they're in the Ten Commandments, whether in our, they're, they're in our can canon law, whether they're just in the moral law of Jesus Christ, how he wants us to live, if they're just against common virtue, if we're just angry and bitter at one another. If we are doing things that are against the, what the Scriptures are clearly telling us, those are the quote-unquote breaking of the rules. But at that point, we are no more or less sinners than we were before we broke them. It is a concept, it is a thought that escapes our minds. Both when we look at others and unfortunately when we look at ourselves. Because I promise you Many times, the daggers that we prick our own selves with are heavier and they go deeper than what we place on others. And we hear it in this gospel so many different times. How many times the Jews, because the, the, sometimes the gospel says Pharisees, whatever, but most of the time in the gospel of John, he just says the Jews. He kind of lumps them all together. He's not being anti-Semitic. He just wants to say there was really no exception. They all kind of hated Jesus for the most part. We hear this, but the Jews didn't have, at that time, they didn't understand the law by compassion. They didn't understand the way of living our lives in some sort of loving and wonderful way. No, they understood living their lives by, we have these 613 some whatever laws that we have to follow. Follow them, you're good. Don't follow them, you're bad. What's our excuse? What's our excuse when we're ugly to each other? When we look at each other and say, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this person. Do you know what they... What's our excuse? We have our Lord. We have Jesus Christ, who is the most loving and compassionate God that has ever existed and will ever exist. Only one time in the entire history of Christianity have I ever even heard of a person who was forcibly stopped from entering a church. You knew who that person was? We know who that person was. Yeah, Mary of Egypt. That's the only one. That's the only one. 
And yet, we, by our own judgment of ourselves and of others, are stopping them. We're doing it. We're stopping them because why? Because this is a sin. This is this. This is that. Well, I got news for you. We can say that. We can say that something is a sin, and that's fine. But we must define the word sin properly. Okay? And I know the word sin means missing the mark. I know, I know the word sin. Amartya means that you've missed the mark. Okay? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redefine the word sin for you using that definition as a guide. You want to know what sin is? Anything that isn't Jesus Christ is sin. Wow, Father Nick, that's like a blanket statement. You just called the whole world sinners. Yeah. Yeah, I just did. Yeah, I did. But not everything that is sinful is worthy of condemnation. This is the problem. Not everything that is sinful is worthy of, of condemnation. The Jews didn't have any different because they had a law. You break the law, bad. We, when we see sin, our first mechanism should be get them to the hospital. Our first mechanism should be, that's not of Christ. Are they sick? Are they okay? Our first mechanism should be, that's not what Jesus Christ asked us to do. I hope they're all right. But no, what do we do many times? We see sin and we say, get away. Get away. Get away. I don't want anything to do with you. Our doors in Jesus Christ need to be open. The sinners, that's all of us, the sinners are not going to find the truth of love and compassion. Not real love, not real compassion. They, sh they will not find that anywhere except in Jesus Christ. It's, that's just true. Whatever it is that they're finding in the world, all the sinners that refuse to come to our churches, whether it's our own fault or theirs, I don't know, I'm not going to say that. They can only find that truth here. Where are they going to find it? Out there? Where the rest of the world is lying? No. It's here that they're going to find it. Whoever those individuals are. That's why we are here, folks. We're not here because we're righteous. If we were righteous, we would not need to be here. The Jews couldn't get that. Even though they saw and knew that God did not listen, he does not listen in the miraculous way to a person who tries to disobey God. The Jews knew this. And did you see how they kicked the man who had been healed, the one who had done nothing wrong, his only, his only fault was that he was born blind and that Jesus healed him and that he praised Jesus. What fault was there in this? They kicked that man out. But Jesus Christ, who healed on the Sabbath, who clearly broke a law, because they hadn't decided yet. They were still contemplating. Hey, wait a second. He's this, he's this. They're, they're still trying. Plus, they had their, their own fears. They had their own fears. 
We must, beloved, understand that by our indifference to people that we would call sinners, our indifference is stopping people from entering. We are locking our doors. We're not really locking our doors. They're open now, thank God. We just went through a pandemic. And we remember how badly we felt when those doors were locked. Why? Why would we, because of political differences, because of whatever differences, would we shut those doors from anybody? They should be flung wide open. Take them off. So that the world will know this is the only true place where you are going to find Jesus Christ. This is the only true place where you're going to hear his truth. You're, this is the only place where you are going to experience real love. The kind of love that should not judge. It'll hurt sometimes. The, the love of God sometimes hurts. But that's only because he is giving us antiseptic on our open wounds. We must find a way. We must find a way to be less judgmental of those who truly need Christ. We must find a way to be more loving to those who truly need to find refuge in this place. We must find a way to speak compassionately and lovingly to those who, like us, are sinners and need the Lord's salvation. Let us honor our Lord who did not turn anyone away from him. Let's be like this for those out this door who need it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Have mercy. Wisdom. That ever guarded by your might we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from our affliction, our danger, 
and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, you have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Para and as your peace, the faithful God, the God in our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. Let us ask for a Christian man to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. For us who give Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us command ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. He be with you all and with your spirit let us love one another that with one mind we may confess Pater, Aion, ke Aion, pnevma, triada, In Sophia, proskomen, the doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, to whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into the heavens and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. So min kalos, so min metafovu, pros komen, tenagian anaforan, enirini prosferi. Eleonirinis, thesian enese, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks 
to the Lord. Action Invisible, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom, which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things we know and do not know for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Adios, 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 Kyrios Avaoth, Pliris Auranos, Kaigitis Doxisu, Osana Antisipsis Dis, Evlogimenos O Erchomenos, Enonomati Kiriu, Osana Oedis Ipsis Lavete faiete tutumo estito soma, Toi perimon clomenon isafesina martion, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood in the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Pieta ex of tu pandas, tuto estito emma mutotis genis diathikis, toi perimon kepoloniki no menon, isafesina martion. Thus I ton son si prospero man, catapanda ke dia panda, your own of your own we offer to you, in all and for all. Once again we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We praise you. We bless you. We give. Seretos tis panaia sacrando e per evloi mani sen vox des finissimon teotoku te ai porcenu Maria. O angelos e votin ke charito meni agni porcene cheri ke pali ero cheri o soi os anesti trimeros ectafu fotizu fotizu. In Jerusalem, I guard the sacri o epise anetile. For even in ke agalusion, si de agni ter pute otoge, and the egersi tu tokusum. The angel cried aloud to the lady full of. Rejoice, O your virgin, 
and again I say rejoice, the sun has truly risen from the grave on the third day. Be illumined, illumined, O new Jerusalem, for the glory Among the first, remember Lord Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all your people. And all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Heaven, remember all the sins again and again in peace and thus pray to the Lord. Lord you have mercy. All the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, Lord, let us pray to them at His holy and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May it return so down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us command ourselves to you, Lord. Christ, to manipulate us, set your reparation on the on patera, que leyin. Demon, o indisranis, ay esti to to no masu, el teti vasiliasu, yani ti to to telimasu, o senurano que apitis gis, to na to imon to imbusion. Dosi mit semeron, ki afesi mit afimata imon, os ke imis afimati sofilati simon, ke misi ginegis mas ispiras mon, alarise mas aputuponiru. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Therefore, a master makes smooth and beneficial for us all, whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Cross Homer These are the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Christ, oh.
the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life, amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vessel will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Christ, do me the 
Φόβου Θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε. Εξομολογήστε τον Θεό των Θεών, Αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το ελεός αυτού αλληλούια εξομολογήστε το Κυρίο των Κυρίων αλληλούια ότι εις τον αιώνα το ελεός αυτού αλληλούια το ποιούν τη θαυμάσια μεγάλα μόνο, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το ποιήσαν τη φώτα μεγάλα μόνο, Αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, Αλληλούια. Το ενήλειον εις εξουσίαν της ημέρας, Αλληλούια, 
Son of the host, Laon Sukev Lois on Tinklin on Omiansu, O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Christos, O of ages. Please let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome message of Christ, let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We give thanks to you, <coughs> Master who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, <coughs> fortify us in your fear. Guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. <speaking in Hebrew> May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love, always now and forever into the ages of ages. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. May He who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of His all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostle, the holy, glorious, triumphant martyrs, for righteous and God-bearing fathers, of our Father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy Hilarion, the, the new of the Dalmatian monastery, Bisadi, and the wonder worker of Egypt, the five virgins of Caesarea, whose memory commemorate today, and of all the saints, May he have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good and merciful God who loves mankind. Lord, protect for many years the one who blesses and sanctifies us. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. And Messiah come. Christos Anviat. You got to learn it. That was Romanian. You got to learn it. Christo and Jal, no Albanians here, no. Christo and Mefofuka, did I hear it? Ah, it's there. Glory to His third day resurrection. We venerate His holy third day resurrection. Let's sing together. Christ is risen from the dead by death. Trampling down upon death And to those in the tombs He has granted life I mean, please be seated. Oh, I got to take the candle back before I burn somebody. Good morning, everyone. Only have three days left to, to, to greet each other with Christos Anesti. We only have three days left, so blessing the Lord be with you. Um, I, I, I was asked to announce uh, for everyone to please stop and purchase their name day banquet tickets. Okay? Uh, those who need to call for an RSVP to the office, uh, please do so this week. The people that need to RSVP because their tickets, I guess, are gratis are the 2020 and 2021 high school graduates, the 2021 college graduates, and the scholarship, all the scholarship recipients. Those are the people that need to RSVP that you are or are not coming 
to our name day banquet, which is in two weeks. Two weeks. Two Sundays from now. Okay? Next Sunday. Next Sunday, I will be on vacation. So I will not be here. We will have church. Father Dan, um, uh, not, not Father Rogic, uh, uh, another Father Dan Rowe. His name is Father Dan Rohan. He is a retired priest from Youngstown, Ohio. Is coming to substitute for me. Um, and he will be here to do matins and liturgy like as, as normal as, as you have come to experience, except uh, I'm sure he's better looking than I am. So, the, um, so he'll be here. Everything will be, uh, you know, kind of as normal as an OCA priest can be. And we thank him for his service. Um, as we, my wife and I, will be traveling out of town for a week of vacation. I'll be going away again in July, but I won't miss a Sunday during that period of time, so we'll just go during the week uh, sometime after the festival. Um, but that, so please give him uh, your love and attention, Father Dan Rohan. I uh, will be here next week. I, I was remiss. I was remiss in uh, because we didn't have like a final Sunday school thing up in church the way we normally did with the with the picture and everything I guess that's what we normally have done with the Sunday school kids um, these are things that you know last year was COVID and that would have been my first Sunday school whatever <laughs> so I didn't get to do any of those things um, but I was remiss to uh, thank the Sunday school teachers for this last year of service uh, they came, uh, you know, one, once things kind of opened up, we had uh, four teachers that were absolutely, unbelievably uh, 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 great, uh, you know, uh, willing to step up, willing to do whatever it took to teach our children. Uh, and I just want to, I just want to thank them. Uh, Kelly Antoniadis, who didn't just uh, do that um, for, hi. Uh, didn't just do that for uh, her Sunday school class, but also she was sending emails to the other uh, to the other uh, students and their parents throughout the year uh, to keep them going for people that didn't uh, feel comfortable coming to church yet. Um, we had Karen uh, Cotanides who was taking care of the younger class. We had G uh, Georgine Tatteridis. None of these people want me to thank them, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, Georgine Tatteridis, who was taking care of uh, a larger group of kids. Uh, than she would probably normally have as those many, uh, you know, uh, as many as came to church uh, up to those eighth grade uh, uh, children. And then we had Savas who has conveniently stepped out because he knew, he knew I was going to uh, thank him. Savas who did our, uh, our high school class. Um, and so, uh, you know, and those kids enjoyed it. The, the kids that were able to come enjoyed having Sunday school, enjoyed doing that. Not all parishes, we are blessed, folks. Not all parish... Not all parishes had a Sunday school this last year. Not all parishes did. And some of that was due to the fact in other parishes that we didn't have teachers that were willing to step up and teach our children during this pandemic. So we need to thank our teachers. And I, and I, I just want to give that opportunity to thank those individuals who were able to continue to teach our children during this year. Um, that's important. There's a lot of things on the schedule for this week. Just to keep in mind that Wednesday evening, there will be um, ninth hour of the leave taking of Pascha. So the service of the ninth hour on Wednesday evening will be the last Pascha service of the year. You know, the, the, you know, the ones where we're chanting Christos Anesti. So Wednesday evening, uh, just a little bit before six o'clock, we're going to start with that ninth hour service. And, and we'll stop that service, we'll be done. During that service, we put Christ back up on the cross. It is a very moving experience. If you have not had an opportunity to see it in person, uh, you are able to venerate the, the body of, the, of Jesus Christ, um, the, the icon of the body of Jesus Christ. You're able, you are able to venerate that as we are chanting Christos Anesti and as we are putting Christ back up on the cross. I was able to participate in, uh, in this kind of a service in a specific monastery, and it just left a very strong impression on me, and I've offered it ever since uh, to all of the parishes that I've served. Um, so that's, and then following that ninth hour service, it, it's very short, maybe 10 minutes. That whole service takes 10, like 10 minutes. And then um, and following that service, we will close the, uh, close the doors for the first time and go right into... Um, and, uh, and then we will uh, open them back up for the Vespers of Ascension. 
Vespers of Holy Ascension. Um, those people who do not believe that Jesus was actually a human being have no reason to uh, have this feast. And I will share that a little bit more on Wednesday night and Thursday morning. But there are people who are actually walking on this earth who do not believe that Jesus was actually a human, which is kind of silly. But whatever, that, to each their own, I guess. Uh, but that is, not the, that is not the correct way of believing in Jesus Christ. The correct way of believing in Jesus Christ is that he was fully God and fully human. And so, um, uh, and the ascension is one of those feasts that if you do not understand, truly understand that Jesus is human, um, uh, fully human, it doesn't make sense to celebrate it. Uh, but we in the church who celebrate his full humanity honor this feast for a very, very specific reason. And, and we'll talk about that as we get closer to that uh, feast. But keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> this Saturday, there's going to be all kind of um, stuff going on um, for, uh, you know, for, th for this week. And of course, there'll be li uh, liturgy Thursday morning. But this Saturday, is it in the bulletin? It is in the bulletin. But I need to mention it. This Saturday is the National Oratorical Festival. Normally, the National Oratorical Festival is taking place in some remote location and you just hear the results later. This year, because they were not sure where COVID was going to be and where we were going to be able to travel, they chose to do an all virtual, just like we did here and just like they did for the Metropolis, they chose to do an all virtual uh, oratorical festival, um, uh, you know, national oratorical festival. So um, you all have an opportunity to, uh, to participate in this, to, to watch it, to see these young children uh, speak. And if you've not heard the young children speak at an oratorical festival, it is very moving. It is very wonderful to uh, express the joy of that of that um, uh, of their knowledge and of their zeal for the faith why else would you listen to it and watch it this year because we have two participants from this parish that are on the national level our own Evan Jordan Medes for the juniors is the metropolis not just the parish representative the metropolis representative to the national and Stavros Spanakis is not just our parish representative to the metropolis but it's the metropolis representative to the national. It might be one of the first times in the history of our metropolis that both junior and senior representatives for one metropolis are also from one parish. So if you have the opportunity this Saturday at noon, and we will send out a call, make sure that you're available. That you, there, there is a link in here, but I'm not sure if this is the exact link. We'll make sure that you're aware of when that takes place so you have an opportunity to listen, not just to Stavros and to Evan, but to listen to all of those children, okay? So I don't want to take up any more time. I just wanted to uh, mention those uh, few things. Some of them were not in the bulletin, so uh, may the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord guide you. Is there anything else to announce? Okay, wonderful. Ah, they brought, they brought bread out. Wonderful. All right, well then come forward to receive your blessing. Christos Anesti. Σκορπιστήτω σαν οι εχθροί αυτού και φυγέτω σαν από προσώπου αυτού. Οι μισούντε αυτών. <coughs> Πάσχα η ερώνυμεν σήμερον αναδέδικτε. Πάσχα και νόν αγιών. Πάσχα μυστικών. Πάσχα πανσεβασμιών. Πάσχα Χριστό ο λύτρωτη. Πάσχα μομόν, Πάσχα μέγα, 
Πάσχα των πιστών, Πάσχα το πιλασίμιν του παραδείσου ανοίξαν, Πάσχα πάντας αγιάζοντας πιστούς. Ως εκλείπη καπνός εκλείπετωσαν, ως τίκεται κυρός, από προσώπου πυρός, δεύτε από θέας γυναίκες, Ευαγγελίστριε και τη Σιώνη πατέ δέχου πάρει μας χαράς Ευαγγέλια της Αναστάσεως Χριστού τέρ που χόρευε και αγάλου Ιερουσαλήμ τον Βασιλέα Χριστόν θεασαμένη εκ του μνήματος ως νυμφίων προερχόμενων. Ούτως απολούνται οι αμαρτωλοί από προσώπου του Θεού και οι δίκαιοι εφρανθήτωσαν ε, μυροφόροι γυναίκες όρθρουβα Θεός επιστάσε προς το μνήμα του ζωδότου εύρων άγγελων επί των λήθων καθήμενων και αυτός προς δεξάμενος αυτές ούτως έλεγε τι ζητείτε τον ζώντα μετά των νεκρών Τι θρυνείτε τον άφθαρτον ως εν θωρά Απειλώς δε κηρύξατε τις αυτού μαθητές mm.